Yo, my people, them CFC Redis Blue back with another video, and this is the play ratings for the Chelsea Man United game, which ended 4 3. Match joined by my broski and scrum. And we're going to be going through each player that played as well as rating our managers. So, you guys, leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and please subscribe to the channel. Help me get as many views, as many likes as possible. If you are excited about this W, smash that like button, people. But yeah, man, we're going to be going through the team news and I'm going to be rating my players. We'll start off with Dordi Petrovic and goal. Hey, man, I'll be real to you. I'm going to have to give you like, I have to give you like a five. I'll be real because some things, like certain, certain, certain goals that go in, I feel like you could do better. Like, the first goal you could maybe have done better. Obviously, Caicedo did give the ball away, but I feel like he could have done better. The second goal, can't really do too much about it. The third goal, Mal could have done better, but it is what it is, isn't it? I'm just going to give you a five because I don't feel like it was a great performance, but it definitely weren't like, one of your worst performances. But I'm going to give you a five. Then we go to right back, Malo Gusto, this guy. I'm going to give him a 6.5 because I do feel like he had a good game. On the right-hand side, you see my bro just getting bombing up and forward, trying to link up with Cole Palmer, whether that's like on a decoy run or he's trying to lock up um, whoever was on your left-hand side, which I do Ganacho. believe was Ganacho. Yeah, man. He done very well against Ganacho for the majority, but Ganacho did end up scoring nonetheless. Gusto, I'm going to give him a 6.5. Now we move on to the centre backs. Benoit Badia Shaw, bro. I don't know what you're defending. What is your defending at the back post for the second goal? Please, bro. It don't even make any sense how you defend this. And I'd be wrong, I wouldn't even have started him. I'd be so honest, I wouldn't have started Benoit Badia Shaw. And that's why for me, I'm going to give him a four because defensively, we weren't all that. We was not all that at all. Then you got Axel de Sassi. Bro, is always like you missed you missed um a header. There was also a part where like you literally gave the ball away and you celebrated winning it back. For me, I don't even understand how you can celebrate the fact that you gave away the ball and you won it. And on top of that, you and Badi Shaw are just mistakes. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. You will make enough of them. And eventually we all get caught. And we ended up did conceding three goals today, so I can't sit here and say the defence played well because we didn't. You are also going to get a four. And then we move on to our left back, Mark Correo. Like you was getting you was getting cooked by Anthony th this game. You was getting cooked. That's why your name's Cook Cook Correo and Prime Abbey Road. My rating for you, I'm also gonna give you a four. Not a great performance at all. In the midfield, Caicedo, bro. You literally set man up. You gave Man United the lifeline to bring them back into the game. And for that, I'm going to have to give you a four. Because that is unacceptable, bro. You cannot be doing this kind of things. You cannot be doing this stuff. No gets Man United. And on top of that, the fact that they took the lead as well. If them lot ended up winning, it would have been a long day. It would have been a long day. But I'm going to give you a four. It's still my bro. I still believe in you. But today is just not a great game at all for you. Then we have Enzo Fernandez. Enzo, it wasn't necessarily a great game for you either. I would say that you played better than Caicedo. True, say you didn't make a mistake that cost us a goal. And you did get the assist, even though it was like a short corner for Cole Palmer's last goal. You did get an assist in this match. But overall, in the midfield, we weren't controlling nothing. It was an end-to-end, -end and I'd be real. Mainly was doing his thing in the midfield compared to you guys. So I'm going to give you a... I'm going to give you a six point. I'm going to give you a six Enzo Fernandez. It's an okay performance, but it's nothing that's great at all. And then we go on to the left hand side. Mikhailo Mudrik, bro, I wrote to you. You might have thought that you weren't even on the pitch today. I'd be so honest because you didn't really do too much. Sure you might have made a good you might have made a good play, you might have had a good touch, whatnot, but threatening wise, you weren't on anything. I'd be wrote to you. Maybe it's due to the fact that obviously you are playing against one Basako. He is a mad defender but i would expect you to be more involved in the game you was not involved at all and i do want you to start in the next match and you do need consistency but today's game not good at all i am gonna have to give you a five i'll be real to you and then we go on to the right hand side and this is where we talk about the man of the match cold 
Palmer, who is definitely going to get a 10 for grabbing that hat trick. Big him up. He had scored. He had scored two penalties and got the last minute winner. The penalties, the first one, definitely a pen. The second one, people would say that Ams would say that oh it's not a penalty. Definitely. It's a light, it's a light thing for me. Definitely. For me, the fact that it's just a pen, that's all I care about. I'd be so honest. That's all I care about. Because I've seen man's team get bumped numerous amount of times. Even games where we should have had a penalty against Liverpool, they didn't get a penalty. We got a pen today. The inconsistency of referees, this is what happens. And today, it's bearing consistency for the referee. That's on him. But United and Dallow, for him for him just falling like that, I don't even see how he felt like that. That's what put us in that position. But nonetheless, Cole Palmer still needs to step up and take the penalty. And this is in like literally the last couple of minutes. The pressure that's on him to score, to equalise, he done it. Yeah, and then... Pressure on that's all nine half, bro. No, nah, fair enough, isn't it? But we will put pressure on him as a Chelsea fan base because we need him to score. And then to not even, what, like 80 seconds after that, not even 80 seconds, 60 seconds after that, where you're celebrating a winner, Cole Palmer, they outside the box, took a deflection, fair enough, but he has to shoot. How many men in this team would have been on the edge of the box and not shoot? How many? Enough man. But not called Palmer. This is why he is him. This is why he is the man of the match. He has now scored 16 Premier League goals for Chelsea. The last person to score this amount of goals was Eden Hazard, and that was literally in the 18. Wait, it was literally in the 18 19 season. Literally about nearly four or five years ago, bro. It's a mad move. So, Cole Palmer, you are him. Man of the match for you. 10 rating. He needs to build him a statue and give him everything he wants because we need him at this club. Big him up. And then on top of that, Cam, Conor Gallagher, you put us in the lead after the fourth minute. That was some dead defender from Man United, but big up um, big up Gusto for putting the ball in. Did take a deflection, but Conor Gallagher put it away and now he has scored a couple goals. In 2024, he's been scoring bare goals. In 2023, we're scoring niche. Now 2024, he's scoring goals. My rate for him, I'm going to have to give him a 6.5. He had a very good, he had a good game. Can't say a very good game, but he had a good game. And now, we move on to the striker, Nicholas Jackson. Nico, bro, you was non-existent for the majority of the of the match, Abby Road to you. You didn't really do anything. You can talk about a good touch, some layoffs and whatnot, but you were hardly in the game. You didn't do anything, really. So, I'm going to have to give you, I'm going to give you a 6, Abby Road to you. I'll give you a 6, because... You didn't do anything that's too bad, but you didn't do anything that's so major. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a six. Substitutes. We first had Raheem Sterling came on. I don't really knew, know too much he did, so I'm going to give him a five. Carney Shakri Maka came on. I feel like he had more of an impact, so I'm going to give him a 5.5. Alfie Gilchrist, I'm going to give him a five. Trevor Chalabar, I'm going to give him a five. Noni Madweki is definitely going to get a six due to the fact that he came on and helped us win a penalty. So big him up for that. And Pochettino, you are going to get a five. You'll get on a five just due to the fact that we ended up winning this game. But majority of these things, Badia Show, Badia Show and the Sassy starting, no, that's not what should be happening. Thiago Silva on the bench and doesn't play again. That is not, that's not sure what should be happening because he's our best defender. You don't like to play our best defense. We have conceded we have lost a two-goal lead for like the sixth time this season in all competition. That is disgraceful. That is disgraceful. But luckily, we get the winner. That's thanks to Cole Palmer. So I'm going to give you a five. Now, I'm going to give it over to Ams and he can go through his team and talk about his player rating. So go on, my bro. Start off with Onana and go. Onana, um, you conceded four. That's poor. Um... Both penalties, you didn't even try like that. Poor. Um, their first goal, Gallagher, you got your hand to it, but it's just you and your reactions of going to ground quick enough is poor. So you're getting a free. You're getting a free. Um, Dallo, you got an assist. And besides that assist, you didn't do Nish. So you are getting a five. Varane, you come off at half time. In that period of time, you conceded two. Also, we scored two and finished the half two two. Um, from about thirty fifth minute, you had an injury, but in them 
35 minutes it was 2-2 two, two. so I'll probably give you I'll give you a 5 I'll give you a 5 you didn't really do anything too wrong nothing too major yeah I'll give you a 5 um, Harry Maguire the only centre back to make it through the whole match um, you're fresh from injury as well you still you still conceded 4 you didn't score assists nothing so I'll give you a 4.5 um, 1B you're solid 1-1 one one defending but once again defensive line conceded 4 and we lost so 1B I'll probably give you a 5.5 highest rated defender for me um, centre defensive midfield duo starting pair was um, Casemiro Cass Lafarge lots of days are cool didn't care gave up a lot Wrong attitude, you're getting a four. Mano, um, it was more of your fitness for me. Um, you pushed forward too much, which left way too much space, and you couldn't track back fast enough, personally. So, I give you a 5.5 because you didn't do anything spectacular either. Um, Cam Bruno, you got that goal, besides that. You just, like, you're doing a couple passes that are all right but nothing's leading you're taking the ball off people and doing nothing with it it's not enough it's not giving El Capitano it's not giving it so you are going to leave today with a 6 you're getting a 6 um, Ganacho man of the match from my squad um, 2 goals work rate you, my friend, you're gonna to leave today with a with an eight. I'm gonna give you an eight. eight the only thing that could have been better, which was which would I would say nine would have gave you a hat trick and ten we would have won the match, but yeah, sadly we didn't. Um, on the right, Anthony, it was wasn't your worst game. I can tell you that. You had a good game. You had a good game compared to how you've been playing this season. Um, you got an assist. You probably got about two shots on target, maybe, I think, about that. Um, you work defensively as well. I'll give you a, I'll give you a six. Most I'll, of your attack was going through six. as well. Um, Hoyland, non-existent. Wrong runs all day. Couldn't even hold off Baddy Asher. Like, you probably couldn't even have held off Kukurela today. That's how poor your game was today. Um, you're getting a four. Non-existent striker. Basically played with ten men. Um, onto the subs first sub was Johnny Evans who unfortunately after coming on at half time came off 20 minutes later um, which means I'm going to have to give you a 5 because even the commentator for your 20 minutes the commentator said that you've done it all like anything that's coming your way you've shut it down got rid you've done your job so I'll just give you a 5 you didn't have enough time to do enough um after that, Camboala, you come on as a young G. Um, I think you were about 18, 18 years old, um, to come centre back in a tough game like this as well, in a way match where we've got barely got any fans. Chelsea crowds getting wild and mental, more for the fact that their team's not doing well. But them fans kept shouting, and that shouting is what gave Chelsea the confidence to come back. Um, you yourself only conceded two goals, um, but you wasn't at fault for any of them. You played pretty decent, to be honest. Anything that came your way, you dealt with it. So I'll give you a six. I'll give you a six. You played about 35 minutes, so I'll give you a six. Um, McTom, you also come on. McTom, I would prefer if you started personally. You also cleared up. You made a lot of passes, correct passes. You also didn't get a free kick, which we should have got. And I don't know why we didn't. Ref was doing a lot of fugazi stuff today. You made a nice start and run, which we could have went and got a 4-2. But Anthony decided to pass backwards. So I can't really put fault too much on your thing. The ball did deflect off you for it to go in for the 4-3. But... You put yourself on the line to try and stop that going in, regardless, because other players such as Bruno Fernandes could have run out and blocked that. You was in a deeper role, you had to come forward, you tried to stop the shot. 
but sadly it deflected off and went and can't do too much about it. But you today, I give you a 5.5. Um, Marcus Rashford, lackadaisical, didn't run much. I don't know why he didn't start. It's kind of like something happened before the match. I'm not sure. But even when you came on, non existent, so you're getting a 4. Um, the boy, the boy, Mason Mount, you, Money Mace, you weren't worth your money today. Not He's done worth that 55, but, 60 M still for us. You played what, probably about 15 minutes? I think no, you sorry. came on like 83rd minute or something, something like 85th. So, played about 15 minutes, you didn't get to do much. The ball, I think you only had about two touches on the ball, but no, you definitely had more cap, definitely had more. You was in a lot of one touch passes, which you look at it easily, you went and done something, but look, you lost 4 3 because you didn't need it. Um, Mason, 4. Mason, Mason for um, Ten Hag. Ten, ten. You are not a ten. Nor did he. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Separately, your rating you. today is going to be a three because I didn't like the lineup. You started players that I didn't think should have started. You so subbed off wrong players. And this has just been you all season, just making the wrong decisions. So it's just another bad performance from you. And yeah, man, just I just hope for runs fit enough to play Liverpool on Sunday. So yeah, that's that's you lot for me, man. You lot are tired today, man. Hey, man, but it, fam, cheer up. So the 24 hours from now, you're going to be in the sun, enjoying that. You're going to Jamaica. I hear all that. Yeah, yeah. really that's, that's why I'm not as mad. Any other day, I'll be vexed. I hear it. Super vexed, man. I don't even take I might have swore. Even. You get me? But I've held it in composure. But that's because I'm gone on the flight within the next 12 Aye, hours. Man. You're gone. It's not like you went to the match on your birthday, so your team lose or whatever. It's not like yeah, that. I hear it's not like that. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But this was just as bad. I was in your room. But <laughs> it's just as bad, man. Because the man's team went 2 0 down. I was laughing at him when we got the free tee. I'm and silent. what was worse was that I said it. As soon as it hit 90th minute, I said it. And I saw them eight minutes drop. I said, man, them, just don't do a Chelsea. Don't do a Chelsea. And what did you do? You done a Chelsea. No, I don't really I don't really see us I don't I don't see us conceding like two goals and losing the game in like the last couple of minutes. That's, That's not my point. Doing. My point is it's oh, conceding. And, conceding. and oh, going into a losing deficit. That's what happened. Because that's what you lot done. You lot was 2 0 up and you were losing 3 2. Yeah. So I'm saying don't do a Chelsea. If they get one and we draw 3 3, it shouldn't have happened. But fair enough. But 4 3. 4 3. Insane. Insane. And we love, we are here Lowell. for that. Dead. We're here for that. And hopefully, if we can have the same kind of thing happen if we play each other in the FA Cup final, I am here for it. We, we will be here and we, we, both we, will, be here. we will be at the match as well thousand percent we will be going to the FA Cup final definitely. if that is the case definitely but nonetheless though that's going to mark the end of the player ratings I hope you guys have enjoyed it please leave your thoughts and opinions down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel my brother Amscram love for being on the channel Always it's man's man. first W you man have you've still seen your team win more times on this channel than I've seen my team win <sighs> So at the end of the day, at least my team gets the four, gets the gets the first W, and the Shamalan. So big up, Homela. And now it's gonna be the end. So you man, enjoy the rest of your evening. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, come on Chelsea, come, come on Chelsea. United. Forget all that. Forget all that. United. It's London is blue. Fix up, man. In a bit, my Manchester people. Manchester needs to be red again. Nah, bro. In a bit, my people. Oosh.